All right, so a couple of videos ago, I posted a joke before my game reviews, and it got some pretty mixed reviews. I think I'm not very good at telling jokes. Actually, I'm pretty sure of it. I really don't know how to sell a punchline just to, you know, save my life kind of thing. A number of you have already heard the joke. Um, some of you, like my friend Andrew Jackson, even wrote me and said, that joke was terrible. Don't you dare ever do that again because you're just going to lose viewers every time you do it. So today what I thought I would do is tell you another joke. You know, for me to practice because I need to practice telling more jokes. Apparently. <clears throat> All right, so here goes. So this guy walks into a doctor's office and he says to the doctor, Hey, doc, uh, I need a fertility test. Oh, by the way, he's Italian. He's not like authentic Italian. He's more like uh, Super Mario Brothers Italian. He says, I need a fertility test. I just got married to this nice lady. She wants to make lots of babies. And this guy is like super old. We're talking like, you know, she wanted the money. She married him for the money. But that's, that's sort of besides the point. Anyway, this doctor looks at him and goes, okay, I need you to do me a favor. Take this jar and, uh, you know, go home and, I, and bring me back a sample tomorrow. Sure, sure. Grazie, grazie. Comes back the next day to the doctor's office and he says, uh, hey, uh, doc, uh, we got the problem. He says, oh, first I go home and then I try it with my right and then I try it with my left and uh, nothing, doc, nothing. And then I go to my wife, you know, she, she very nice lady. She, she try with her right and her left, and you know, she's very nice lady. And then we go to the neighbor, Nina. She very nice lady. She, she tries it with her right and her left. And, and after a while, she even tries it with her mouth. She very nice lady. And the doctor is just kind of getting weirded out at this point. He's sort of wondering what this guy is doing. No matter what we try, doc, we can't get this damn jar open. All right, was that one any better? All right, let's talk about some Go. So as promised, uh, we're gonna look at a 20Q game today, which I don't do very often. And uh, you know, most of my students are between 10 and 15Q. I should say probably more like five to 15Q now at this point. And uh, you know, they're, they're a good array of levels, but Teaching 10 cues and 5 cues is very different than teaching 20 cues. So I think we're going to spend a lot of time talking about a lot of basics and trying to create some rules and guides for us to play when we look at this game. Because, man, if you haven't, if you haven't, if you're better than 20 Q and you haven't seen a 20 Q game in a while, it's a trip. I mean, it's it's crazy. There we go. Um, this is sent in by Jeff, uh, who is playing Black here, and I think this was played on the OGS server. Which, if you haven't tried, do try it. I seem to, I'm mostly liking it so far. It's still a work in progress, but it's got a lot of potential. And people are actively working on it, unlike some of the other Go servers that are only being worked on once every three years. I won't name any names. Uh, but anyway, so Jeff is trying dual 3-4 openings against a uh, two Hoshis. That's perfectly possible. Oh, and look, we have this sort of uh, orthodox variation with the 3-4 point. So far, so good. So far, uh... <clears throat> Basically, if this was a 9 Don Pro versus 9 Don Pro game you, versus a 20Q game, you really can't tell the difference. This move is a little strange, but totally playable. It's okay. Not going to talk about it. Uh, this move, also same thing, totally playable, a little strange, but not going to talk about it. <laughs> this move is very strange. Let's talk about this one. Okay, so here, this is a type of move when, we, when white just wants to live in the corner, uh, either small or is happy to take this outside fight. Um, white actually isn't that happy to live in the corner small here, so white shouldn't do this. Um, instead, whoops, not that one. <laughs> um, white should look at one of these moves, probably this one, given that all these other white stones are outside, if we're going to respond over here. Um, but again, just responding to the stone is very normal, you know, so. All right, anyway, white is super something. <laughs> Greedy? I don't know. Anxious? I'm not sure what the word is. <clears throat> um, but the next move after this, if white plays this, is usually to cross cut. And again, usually white only does this <clears throat> when white the situation is so bad in this corner that white can basically only get Aji, or white's strong enough to get something from this outside position, or has this outside already reduced, for instance. Which he kind of already does, but it's really not that good. Um, so we didn't see the cross cut. I'm going to choke for a second. Here, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I'm dying. I'm not sure why. Um, but when white plays here, black actually has two really good options. Um, the first of which is this here, and this uh, should... It, this is the more complicated one, quite honestly, but um, probably the more severe one in the end. Um, black also has this as an option. I guess black has a third option if black just wants to settle easily and let, let white live small. 
um, and get a wall this way, this is also possible. I guess there's at least three options, but I think the best one is just to connect here. Um, white has no real uh, eye space yet, or I guess has really just room for one eye. Um, so white's just going to struggle, just protect yourself, and let white squirm, and you will build lots of strength. But again, we played this one. This one's fine. Um, it will transpose to... No, it won't. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say uh, this type of invasion. Something like this, where white can live in the corner and uh, black gets an outside wall. Of course, this wall will be facing the wrong way because it'll be facing this stone. Um, but white played here, which is like super thank you, kind of like you die now kind of move. Because um, all black should do is play here, which black does. Good job, Jeff. Um, now, the only concern for black, this group is dead right now for white, but black's only concern is this cut, which white does not make. Um, e this cut doesn't work right now. Black has too many liberties. Um, basically, black can just keep getting liberties, and uh, that corner will eventually die with no no real consequence for black. Um, and meanwhile, these three stones will also come under attack, so that's one possible variation. Um, but it looks like white decided to peek or poke at the cut. This is uh, usually really bad. Um, <clears throat> when you have a cut like this, that could that is a really severe cut. Now, granted, black has too many liberties and white doesn't have enough support to really do anything about it. But this cut would be really severe. It's usually really bad go playing to encourage your opponent to fix the cut, which black didn't do, or at least didn't do that way. Oh God. <laughs> All right, 20Q game. All right, so anyway, white is saying, hey, you have a defect. Do you want to fix it? And black should say, yes. Now black has this perfect wall. This corner is completely dead. And this stone isn't actually doing a whole lot. The stone, you know, it really needs at least like two other moves before this one stone feels like it's doing something. And as we all know, like in the rules of Go, you don't get two moves in a row. So if you take one, um, black will probably take the other, something like this. So, yeah, black should just fix this. And you can even have the option to fix with one of these fancy ways, although this move is kind of dumb. Don't do, this didn't really get you much. Like you exchanged um, this stone for this stone, which is probably a good exchange for white. So I would say just fix. Or if you really, if you really um, want to fix it, you know, not fix submissively, I guess you can always just play this. And if white cuts, then you come over here, and that way you're defended on both sides. Um, but this has problems later on. So especially in a Q game. I wouldn't worry so much about trying to fix really fancy ways. Just do that, and black wins the game. But black didn't, and that's what makes Go interesting. Uh, when black comes down here, this is a nice move. This is actually a really nice move in this corner, but this is a this is kind of, yeah. Um, oh, they're talking to each other. I see. Um, so this cut, I think black is still fine, but now white actually gets better compensation out of it. Um, although not re actually not. I haven't really read this out. Uh, it might not even be that severe, actually. Well, no, it's it's severe enough, though. It's severe enough. Um, if this stone was actually in the third line, I think white, white could actually save the corner. Um, but I think, I think white is actually just fine, or at least good enough, um, to even play something like this and sort of force black. There is this cut here that is a little dangerous. Um, but I think white's completely fine, because otherwise black will lose the capturing race kind of thing. Although, oh, no, 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 there's Tsuji. Oh, Tsuji. Do you guys see Tsuji? Right here. To capture. Right, so... Yeah, that requires a move. And then black should come back, but then... Uh, does this work? Is this working? There's my Haley impression for the day. Is this working? Uh, can black get out? Hmm. It doesn't really look like it, but it's actually tough to say. Um, no, not working. Okay. So, yeah, white would just capture all these. So, that's pretty good. Um, it would still be better, though, if this stone... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Go back, oh gosh. If this stone was there instead, and when you cut, that's just like a direct threat to capture. 
Um, so you could do, like if that was there, here, let's go back a move. Like if this was here, this cut's actually even more severe um, because now black's in trouble over here. Um, so black would either have to take away liberty or come out like this. And if black comes out, white will play here. And again, if white comes out again, um, there are some more interesting variations. Like there's always this kind of thing where black or white can sort of sneak out this way. Anyway, there's neat stuff. It's more severe for white. So anyway, oh, no, okay, good, back to game. Um, so black ignored this <laughs> and then decided to come over here. So this game has already gone from, you know, a black corner to a white inferior approach to black killing everything to now white killing everything. Or actually, no, it still, it still has a lot of Aji, though. <laughs> Maybe they'll come back into play later. All right, anyway, um, here's the thing. Uh, black, when, again, I think your first mistake was here. I think this is going to keep that giant black field in the game, the entire tree now. Um, when white peeps like this, just fix. Like, you have no reason not to. This is a free move for you, right? What, 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 you know, you have a problem, white's saying fix it. And you should just fix it. Like, that's really... Don't be so uh, aggressive or non-level-headed to think you have to go play elsewhere. Especially since these are just big moves, not urgent moves. Okay, this shape. If you're going to play again over here, play this one. Uh, this move doesn't really put any pressure on white. Um, and over here, we have this two-on-one in the corner, right? We have, you know, my number tool. Number tool. All right, one, two versus the one, or three in this case. In that case, uh, it's really big to play there again. Like, really, really big. And the move that you play doesn't really... I mean, it helps. Technically, it makes it a three-on-one, but this three is really far away. Uh, make it a three-on-one, um, which basically means that you either just win this outright, white should either just give it up, or if white does anything in here, you're going to get ridiculous compensation. So it's win-win. Uh, okay, so then white really does get that corner back and just completely massacres that top left-hand qu quadrant of the board. Um, so, I don't know, man. <laughs> it, it, I mean, like, is this move worth the value of this entire quarter of the board? I mean, already it's already a little bit on the late side, because um, white can still fight at this point, but um, you have to play a severe move. I mean, go is about severe moves. All right, so this is a good move locally, but I still think this is better. You know, white got this entire corner, you want to take this entire corner. All right, this is a move when white has some sort of support. When white doesn't have support, it's really submissive. Um, usually you see white coming out here, here, or here. All those are good. Uh, I mean, this this is okay, but it's really not that strong. Very submissive. This is a really strong fighting move, like I said, that when white has anything outside. Um, so if you try to cap this, when white cuts, it already has the stone of support. Okay, so now you play there. That's okay. And then now white plays there. That's fine. Do you take the outside again? Okay. There are cuts. You know, this stone does allow white to cut. Um, but it's not like black can deal with it. It actually looks like white is not intent on cutting. White just wants to live. Oh, why don't you just play here? What's wrong with this move? This move's beautiful. Look at your wall, man. Look at this wall, I love it. Look, look at all this, like, Moyo potential here and here. And then you are already in over here, so it's not like white has any points here. So look, you have two huge areas of development for black. Meanwhile, white has basically one big corner, a little bit of a side, and two small corners. So I like black here, if it went like that. This is way too soft. Um, white can just reduce this to nothing. When you play this move, you're saying that you're really worried about this stone. And you shouldn't be. But, okay, White's going to make it up a triangle instead of doing anything more severe. Again, very normal move if White just wanted to reduce this right now. If White was going to give this up, maybe something like this, and a move like this, just try to reduce the outside. Very normal. This doesn't actually accomplish much unless White's going to cut right now, which that doesn't accomplish much because Black has two supporting si sides, so... Okay, we're going to let white cut through us, though. I'm not sure why. This this isn't trouble. Like, there's no trouble here. You can even just descend and freak white out a little bit in the corner. Not that you can kill white, but, um, you know, this, this 
makes white a little, if, you know, if white tries to fight this side, you come over here. Now you can kill the corner. So white has to be very careful. I'm not even sure if that's a good move. Maybe something like that to just live. And then you get another free move where you can probably just, uh, I don't know, go kill this corner or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, white makes a bad shape move. I'm not sure why you don't want to just respond. I'm not sure what your fear is. This is twice you've done this now, Jeff, right? Where white threatened to do do something. And quite frankly, white played a very suboptimal move because white in this case can even play here. And there is, if you know, with ladders and support, there is this type of sequence where white can try to capture these stones. Um, it doesn't quite work here um, because there is this uh, ladder slash... Um, uh, oh, no, it does work for white. White has a ladder, huh? Oh, no, so it works, it works for what? Yeah, it works for light, white. Uh, is there a ladder? There's no ladder, right? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, of course. So that works for white. So white could even do that way. That's probably most severe. I didn't actually even think about the ladder. So instead of like playing this mean variation where white captures your stones, white's playing like a really wuss variation. And when your opponent plays a less than severe variation, just, just respond. Um, when white plays a really severe variation, then we have to start thinking about reading in all these other possibilities. And maybe there's a fancy way to get out of it. Maybe we then contemplate moves like this. You know, so we let white out gently. But we get a nice wall over here and we get a base over here. Um, you know, we can, we can consider those other things when white plays a severe variation. But here, there's no reason, there's no reason to let white out. Like, white played a bad move. Um, of course, at 20Q, it's very difficult to tell what is a bad move, so I don't really blame you. Okay, all right, so here. So this move, I like this move. It's actually better here, though. Um, this is one of the situations where if you play this, you know you're going to give this stone up, right? Like, you can see this stone is going to die. Um, or if you, and if you really try to make it live, you're going to get, give white a whole bunch of free stuff in this area. Like, white's just going to get a ton of free moves if you really want that to live, which we don't want. We'd much rather have white kill a stone than for white to get a whole bunch of free moves in the middle of our moyo. So we have to find a variation where we can make use of this stone as a sacrifice. And this one works pretty cleanly, in fact, right? White just comes here. We Atari. If white captures, we can even just connect like this. And now this is super solid. Yes, white gained a little bit, uh, but... Man, I really like black's walls and thickness here. Like this is this is very dangerous for white to do anything for the rest of the mid game, because black has so many stones in the middle. When you give it up this way, you're actually giving white more options, because white can even play moves like this, uh, which white didn't do. What did white play? White played there. Well, uh, apparently white wanted to copycat you. Saw that you made a questionable extension, and so did white. Okay. Um, but again, there's no reason to try to save this stone at this point. Just block here. Even if white wants that stone, you're super happy to give white that stone because then you get to come take the next big point. And look at this. This is mwa-ha-ha-ha-ha -ha 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 kind of moyo. This is just like so much black potential makes you go mwa-ha-ha-ha-ha. -ha -ha -ha. Okay, so you decide to save the stone. It's possible. You can save the stone, but it leaves some bad Aji, right? Because, yep, white's going to push, and you don't block. Okay, that's fine. Um, you should block. <laughs> like, this is still, remember, mwa-ha-ha-ha-ha. We want mwa-ha-ha-ha-ha. We don't care about saving one stone. All right, so if white cuts here, what do you do? That's my question. Um, if white does this sort of thing... Now, this doesn't quite work yet, but white can, can actually get some Aji in here. It's really not that bad, actually. Eh, maybe you can save the stone. <laughs> but, I don't know. I, I, I really don't, or white, white would probably just cut here first to see what you do. Right, and if white cares about these two stones, or if you care about these two stones, you'd connect this way. And it's sort of like white gets to play in here for free. Um, if you just block. White has no free moves in your mwahaha territory. That's why we want to give up the stone. Right, there's nothing for white to do here. I think that's the biggest difference, is that when you play this way, now all of a sudden there's something for white to do here. So, uh, okay, so we're going to extend that way. Uh, that's 
not a good move for white. Um, white can actually do a bunch of interesting things. Again, if white really wants something over here, white can even play a move like this. Um, but if white, even if white just plays here, these two stones are dead. There's nothing you can do about it. But white plays there, which means technically you can actually save them. Yeah, which you do. Oh gosh. Just now we can play there. Now there's still something for white to do, but it's not very severe because this doesn't threaten a whole lot. You can actually just come here, or even just probably play there, and just completely ignore this stone. Like there's nothing for this stone to do. It can take one Atari. I guess this is something. I guess I can do this. Uh, but it's still it's still really difficult for white. All right, there's something. But again, this is, means you should have blocked in the first case, right? When you have the opportunity to turn, this is called the thousand dollar turn or whatever the Chinese translation of that is, or Japanese, I don't know where that uh, proverb came from, but just do it. Giving up one stone is not a big deal. So anyway, uh, you let white sort of push you around here. Yep, and that's a nice move. White actually played a really nice move here because obviously if you Atari this way, these three stones are dead. And if you Atari this way and insist on saving these stones, white gets out the, oh, that's the game, oh gosh. Yeah, now, now remember our mwahaha? -ha? <laughs> it's sort of getting, half of it's getting eaten up by this white group that can't be stopped. Even in this case though, it's still better to block and just give up these stones and then go play our mwahaha -ha move. Or giant oil. That'd be better. So I'm not sure why you loved this stone so much. Like, I have no idea why you thought that was so important, especially after white made, you know, basically eye shape in the corner. Um, but man, you had love at first sight. You just, you just go for what you know, man. So, okay. So white pushes out, um, black descends. This is an end game move at this point. Um, white's out. White can make eye shape, eye space. This is really too small, quite honestly, because white's next move is going to be... Actually, can white play here? White could play here to capture directly, um, but I think this is... Um, actually, I didn't read out this fight. Um, I just make black really sad and crawl kind of thing. Yeah, it's not quite alive yet. I don't know. This is this is like giant problem issues. Like white will get to cut through here and probably eat these two stones if you're intent on saving all this. It's kind of a problem. Um, so white should probably play this way. Although this way also works for white. If white just wants to eat a snack and doesn't care about everything over here, um, you can't really play here because there's this Atari. So you have to extend again, in which case white just plays here and eats all five stones. So the stones that you were in love with, for so many moves here. When you play this, you're just saying, you can have them all. Not only the one that I fell in love with, but all of his little friends too. So, yeah. Yeah, this is really weak. Sorry, so part of being a 20Q, part of the reason why people are 20Q is because they don't have a sense for weakness. Um, they haven't they haven't developed that idea of like, of like what's in trouble. And sometimes it happens that I think a lot of people who are 20Q spend too much time looking for their opponent's weaknesses and never look for their own. Uh, but, you know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, ranking on you personally. I'm just saying 20Qs, like, like for people better than 20Q, these two points are really like, you feel something about, you feel bad about them, right? You feel the weakness there. Um, and I think most 20Qs can kind of see that too. So really, you know, if you're if you're so hell bent on saving these stones, you need one more move, at least there. And that way, you have a base. These stones are safe. Yes, white can sort of get out and do some limited mischief, but it's extremely limited at this point. Oh, but white gets a response. Oh, that's the other problem. When twenty cues play play when twenty cues play other twenty cues, they build up some really bad habits. Like, both of you are convinced that it's the end game right now. Oh gosh, this move does not work. Um, white can still just do this. Sort of force you to come around and white just eats that. St it's like a free stone for white. Oh no. So white did take the Atari, and then you played there. 
this is not a move. Um, first off, it looks like white can just play here and you're just super dead. White doesn't play their white takes. Uh, you're still super dead. This co actually, I don't think matters because if, if white, white, okay, white didn't start this co, um, but I don't think this is a real co. Um, Oh, no, I guess I guess it's kind of like a real co. It's kind of like a real co. It's kind of like a multi-step co, though. Hard, very hard co for black to win. So, like, worst case scenario, or best case scenario for black, I should say, it's co, but a really bad multi-step co that it doesn't really work. <laughs> like, white's going to win that co. So, what do you do? Oh, what did white do? White white filled? Oh, that's very kind of white. Yes, hey, you got out. Nope, white didn't push anymore. White should push this because the Aji. Um, doesn't matter. Yep, yeah, okay. That white, sh black should just play there. Nope. <laughs> uh, this this moves better here. So you don't care if white, I mean, white, white can play there all day and doesn't matter, right? But making this stronger is actually a really big deal. Um, because if white does anything else, right, you have one more move, you can completely seal back in, and we go back to mwa ha 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 We control the center. It's white. This group can't get out. But that didn't happen. Wait. Oh, no, that was my variation. <laughs> yeah, we play there. So white should just push now. Mm, nope, that's a dame. Now, granted, black should respond right here. Does black? No. <laughs> okay. So game on. White should push here. White does push. Now, see, black can't, Black would normally want to play here, but doesn't have this liberty. White spent two extra moves taking away these liberties, so this would die. So what is black? Does black save it? Black does save it. Uh, but this leaves so many defects in the shape. Um, this move actually doesn't work for white. White has to play a more severe move here, I think, in order to accomplish anything. Which is interesting. Um, actually, this doesn't really work for white yet either. White needs... White actually... Black is out. <laughs> this move does save it. But man, does it limit your, your options later. Because what happens if white goes here? Oh, oh, there goes a fly. Why is there a fly in here? I get distracted easily. If white blocks here, or white plays here, um, white can actually break through this way. Black really wants to cut this stone off, but white just, you know, captures in a snapback kind of thing. So there is there is a whole bunch of shape issues. Um, but when white plays here, yes, nice move. Everything for black is actually more or less fixed. There are still defects, um, but they actually can't be directly taken advantage of. Maybe this one still can, but it's a little bit dangerous since uh, white's corner isn't entirely safe. Okay, so white decided to poke here. You did not block. Why did you not block, Jeff? White play... This is basically a thank you move. This actually isn't getting white anything. It does give white the potential to make some free peeps. And potentially this cut here. But, you know, I think you can actually kind of fight. Because this move is kind of like Sente against the corner. Um, this move... That's not Sente, is it? Uh, you might even just be able to play a variation like this. Or white has to come back and then you just capture that stone. I think, I think you're fine here as black, actually. Although, there's still this later. But... We'll see. All right, so you play there. Uh, so that's a thank you move for white. All right, the first thing white should do is actually poke through this way. Ask a question. Um, oh, maybe not. Uh, actually, your move, your move works well enough. It's not like you, I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so white's gonna poke and then draw back. Okay. Oh gosh, nope, you can't connect there. Why don't we want to give up a stone? Why won't you let any of your stone you let these stones die? Why what's why what's so important about this stone? Um because now white's nope, white's not gonna push through that way. 
Actually, white doesn't have to do this yet. White can actually ask some questions first and see if, you know, white will let this down. And if white uh, really, or if you really want to cut white off here, white can play here in Sente, because it's Sente against uh, this group. So you have to come back and defend. Maybe white plays this to see if white can capture this whole thing, and you have to defend again. And uh, white's basically just attacking this whole group as one giant snake here. All right, but that's not what happened. Oh, the game, white cut immediately. Okay, so that's sort of like white's plan. The reason why white doesn't take this cut immediately, though, is because, let's say, you just let white connect over here, and it goes like this. Um, it might be better to actually Atari this way and come out. It might be. I don't know. I'm not. It, it, it's, it's, it depends on how black responds, right? So that's why you don't take this Atari yet. You don't know which way you want to Atari. Okay, I'm not sure what white's doing. This move, this, this stick is too strong. Black should just fix. Oh, nice move. Okay. Although actually you're still not completely fixed, but you're a hell of a lot better off than you just were. We're almost at Mwahaha territory, except white to get the two free moves here. Uh, white, oh, nice move for white. Yep, that's a good asking move. Okay, all right, so we have an exchange. <laughs> so you're giving up all of this stuff to try to rein in these two stones. Probably not a good exchange at this point. Yep, white's just going to take, this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is about 25 points. It's a lot. It's not small, to be sure, and it's it's not so much that the game's over, but um, that's 25 more points you have to find now. What? Nope, not a move. There's nothing. This is just this is just, this is minus one point. It does nothing. I don't th I don't see anything this move does. Uh, maybe you don't see the snapback here, but let's say um, white plays over here, and let's say you get another move, so you play a move like this. Well, white just pulls back. Still doesn't do anything. Or let's say black does this. Again, just pull up, does nothing. Let's say you do this. Does nothing. In fact, it actually dies. So what's the follow-up? You're going to go here again? White will just pull back. And then worst case scenario, not only do all these variations not work, um, if if anything were to go wrong, white can just play here and this whole thing just dies and snap back. Like there's nothing there. So this is a snapback shape. So that's that's important. And again, it's probably the type of thing that if you're playing a lot of 20 cues, you know, <laughs> like this one, they're not gonna call you out on it. Um, but this is why this is why you need to play against stronger players sometimes, because you see these shapes and you don't actually you don't actually learn from them. Like these shapes come up in your game, but no one ever punishes you for it. So, uh, not an important move right now. Much better, just try to expand the mwahaha kind of thing. These two stones are not big. You're not saving any of this. Okay, white, completely unnecessary move. Okay, doesn't work. Okay, we just gave black a free crosscut. Nope. <laughs> a free connection. Um still doesn't really do anything. White keeps the corner. Uh, also works. Doesn't work as well, but it works. Oh, white didn't defend that way. White decided to save his stone. Why? Why? You can't save the stone. Like, this This is just a, a bad idea, right? This is just three liberties to two liberties. Okay, I guess that was kind of a tough read for 20Q. All right, White didn't know he couldn't save the stone. Oh, neither do you. You don't realize you can. <laughs> you don't realize that you can save the the black and save the stone now. So the one time, I didn't want you to save this, or I did want you to save the single stone. You give it up. Oh, Jeff, you're killing me. Oh, don't take this Atari. Don't do it, man. Don't. Okay, good. <laughs> this is a free co threat later. Don't take that Atari. Uh, white, completely unnecessary move, worth uh, one point in endgame. <laughs> Alright, this is okay. This is okay. This actually makes you very safe. It really kills these two stones off. There's no way for white to save these now. This move is good. This move is real nice. But white's gonna try anyway. 
all right, so uh, at this point, if you're 20Q and you're watching this video, I want you to do some reading here. Like, what's the worst thing white can do? So if white pokes here, let's read this out. We just block. What happens if we block? White has an Atari. Which, which way? We have two Ataris. If we do this one, there's nothing else for white to do. White only has two liberties. There's no way out of this. Let's cut the other way. Again, same thing. White has two liberties. There's nothing white can do. No, oh gosh. All right, this is actually still fine. We're still fine. Um, all right, white is still dead here. We're so strong that even, even if we play moves that don't seal white in, like white is still dead. So if white plays here, all right, good. We did block this way. I'm going to bet a million dollars right now white played here on the next move. Boom, I'm a millionaire. It happened. All right, all we have to do is block right there and not save one stone. Oh, gosh, damn it. <sighs> did we block right there? Oh, we did block right there. Okay, now here's the trick. We can give up one stone. One stone does not make two eyes for our opponent. So we give up one stone, and we pull back. This is a false eye, and now white is still dead. There's nowhere for white to go. We can even just cut this off immediately, or we can actually run with it. White has nowhere to go, so it doesn't matter. But if you don't believe me, Let's try that. We just cut. There's, it's just, a t it's just dead. There's nothing. So, here's, here's your rule. All right, 20 cues. Listen up. When you have this much thickness, okay? Do you see all these black stones? And do you see how white's only friend is this one white stone over here? In this kind of situation, anything that happens over here. Black is entitled to everything, and white is entitled to jack shit, okay? There's nothing for white over here. If white does anything, it's just going to die. All you have to do is just push it into the wall. So black should get all this. Anything that swims by this fishing net is just going to get eaten. All right, so good talk, good talk. Like, even in this situation, there's nothing for white here. Black is way too strong. So, unfortunately, okay, white's playing really crude moves. This move is actually pretty good. Uh, although, this would probably have been just as good. But I'm glad you did something over here. Um, actually, you know what? No. I take that all back. My, my evaluation for moves is getting worse <laughs> as, I, as I see more of these Q games. Black should just play here. And again, white isn't entitled to anything. Just keep this thing trapped along the side of the fishing net. If white wants to Atari, perfect, no problem. If white wants to connect, no problem. Just keep white trapped here. It's not like white has anywhere really good to go. And eventually white will just die. White will just succumb and die. It'll be a beautiful, beautiful day. So we actually don't need to block this. This actually puts uh, our entire, you can still sort in that this way, but it doesn't, it's, I haven't read, quite read it. It's a little bit hard after this peep. I think we can still kill this group, but I think white gets to make this peep for free. Um, this would be, this is our only weakness, right? It's the only thing white can really attack. Because uh, we're assuming this is dead and this is dead. And we're assuming right now this is all pretty safe and Moyo-ish. So if white splits this off and can get strong here, this could be the one area of the game where we're in trouble. Okay, so we're just going to Hane. So white is out. If you, as soon as you honey like that, white is out. Um, white doesn't need to make this yet. That's okay. Oh, gosh. White really wants to fight this way. White should actually just be completely content to just keep coming out because eventually white will get a million cuts over here or be able to come back and kill this. So white, by taking the cuts a little bit early, uh, dies. <laughs> So, man, you were lucky, Jeff. If I just play here, all right, you can you can do this again. We can keep doing this all day long. But this is really weak. This is much weaker than it looks. And there's so many cuts here, all these weak points. You're not going to have a good day. 
So white played here, and you played there. White tries, and you kill. All right, you got lucky. Good kill. White connects there for some reason, because white wants to die as a group. Uh, is it live alone, die together day, apparently? So you just got to attack this. If you attack this, there's no way for white to win. Uh, this is good. This is actually also, also possible, right? We're trying to use this Aji here while attacking this. I like this. This is okay. Uh, that's nothing. Dame. One point, or zero points for both sides. But you defended. Why would you defend? Okay, you need to do some reading. If you want to get better than 20Q, you have to be able to tell me what happens when white plays here. If white can play here, you have to defend. If white can't play there, if this is a stupid move for white, you have to punish. You must punish. Again, look how strong you are. I mean, if this if this were to threaten these group of three stones, then yeah, this this could be a real move, but it's not. There's nothing. And even I don't even think you actually need to respond again. Like this is you can actually just play over here and attack these. Or just go up this way and just <laughs> build the left hand side. I really also want to take this peep. This peep's kind of big. Uh, so this is like double bad move, right? This does nothing and this does nothing, and white wanted to play them both. All right, white's playing end game. Um, you can humor white here. It, I think it's still too early to actually respond to this again. Like, it's a really big move to be sure. Um, but I'd probably play here first. Actually, that's not a very good peep. Never mind, I take that all back. That's not a very good peep. Um, play a move that kills all this. If white wants this, you go, that's great. I'm going to just kill all this. And so white can take, you know, away these little points down here. Not a big deal. I mean, it's 10 points. Uh, what? I guess that works. Interesting. Okay, doesn't work for white. Doesn't work for white. Good reading. Good reading. All right, good, good. None of this works for white. Doing good. Uh, that doesn't actually do anything. Don't need to Atari. No reason to Atari. Again, this is dead. This is not safe. And this is dying. Just eat everything. Just eat it. Look how strong you are. You are entitled to everything. You're so strong in the middle. No reason to Atari directly. Uh, okay, that works. A white defender against the peep that I then decided was a bad peep. So, good. What? No, why? Why? No, 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 no. Just come out. Just swallow the whole thing. Okay. Way too defensive. White is super paranoid right now. Okay, this works. It's not... It's, I think just jumping is better because now there's a cut that white can possibly take advantage of. But it's the right idea. Good timing. This is very thin because now there's this obvious defect right here. And then there's also this, also this cut here too. Or playable later. Uh, white is still paranoid. Paranoid. Um, yeah, I'm not sure white has gone full paranoid here, but he has. Yep, and this is this is actually a really big connection now because this this all could have been your points, and now it's actually like ten plus points for white. So that was this is like like playing another move over here was like twenty five points, probably at least. Okay, so now we're just trying to save our groups. We're not really trying to make points. Okay, it's that time of the game. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This is a good opportunity. So we haunt it here. We want to give these three stones up. Don't save them. Okay, just don't, don't do it. If white really wants to cut us here, we can atar. Yes, yes. All right, all right, this is happening. This is happening, people. This is happening. Yes. And then you can even, if you want to make it perfect, you actually don't need to make it perfect. There's no reason to. Uh, 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 where do we play, where do we play, we play there. Boom, game over, we win. These stones are super dead. All these are dead, dead. Nothing white can do in the corner. We have this whole top, we have this whole middle, we have this left. We win. Um, by a lot. <laughs> Even, it's, it's, it's giving white some of the points here. I'm not sure if you guys can see this that well. Um, it's giving white some of the points in the middle, because SE is terrible. But look, it's got, even even if we give white a whole bunch of points in the middle that are ours, black wins by 66. Kabam! Okay, you, you prefer, that's okay. And that's a really terrible move. 
Good. Nice move. Still, this is better. You know, play over here, play over here, that's better. Oh, you did! Oh, you did! Totally awesome, Jeff. All right, good, good. So it looks like your end game's way better than the other parts of your game. Um, that's not necessary. Just kill the stone. <laughs> All right, maybe your end game isn't that good. <laughs> yeah, there's just a stone here. Just kill it. Um, yeah. This move's really bad, actually. <laughs> Um, yeah, because it doesn't do anything and now white gets to kill our stone. Like, that's a huge endgame loss. Alright, game on. White gets a free Atari. Uh, no, that was bad. You can't play that. You're about to see why. Boom. Alright, you can still lose this game, I suppose. You still have so much. I don't, I don't know how you... Like, you have to let white live in here somehow to still lose. Like, you're up by that many points. Or you can just throw away, like, huge swaths of territory here and still win the game. What? That's not even eye shape. Empty triangle. Don't make empty triangle for eye space. There's nowhere for white to run. You could tanuki here and be fine. Like, you just go play here. Nothing bad will happen to you. Okay, but you play it safe, okay. Again, nothing bad will happen to you. Just play end game. All right, nothing bad will happen to you. Uh, you have no reason to cut. If you're gonna keep defending just here, this is safer. There's no eye here. Everything is strong. Nothing bad will happen to you. Nothing bad will happen to you. Nothing, nothing bad? This is stupid. There's no eyes in here. Um, there's no, we're doing nothing. Okay, we've done nothing. Um, this is just a ladder. This doesn't work. White didn't know that. Um, we're just doing a whole bunch of nothing. You let that, you let white capture your stone there. It's still nothing. You're totally not in trouble. Like, you can let white, uh, that is trouble. Now you just lost. Oh, man. <laughs> nope. Nope. There's this problem. Is there any way to say get out of this at this point? Oh, White didn't see it. Nope, that's not a move. You have to come back and fix. Did White see it? Did White see it? White hasn't seen it yet. No, someone, for the, please play this move. Please. Please. No, no, not the move. No. Oh, my God. All right, see you win. <laughs> that's nothing. That's nothing. That's minus a point. Nothing. White has one eye. All right, you have to play there now. You finally have to play a move in here. All right, white lived. Wow. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> like the thing is you could have tanukied so many times except this this is yeah not that one all right now now what's the score here yeah now of course white's winning by three and a half okay all right how do we prevent this from happening this was a disaster i don't even know anymore <laughs> Jeff, 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 Jeff. <clears throat> all right, so first of all, I, I guess here. Like, all right, when you see this kind of shape, you need to look at your own weaknesses. It goes back to looking at your own weaknesses. You should actually see that this triangle point, this first one, is uh, double Atari on two stones. That by itself doesn't let white win the game. But it's a weakness. So when you're, if you're, if you're just going to play defensive here, if you're going to respond, don't create another weakness there, right? So now you have an Atari here and an Atari there. So that's that's sort of the first thing. It would have been a million times better just to pull back. If White takes one Atari, that doesn't matter. There's there's nothing here. Um, but even then, uh, I don't think you actually need to respond here. Like I, I, I still think you can kill White without even responding to this move. Like this, you could go and play here. If white does this, 
All you have to do is play here. And then when white takes that, do you even need to respond again? You don't need to respond. You don't need to respond. <laughs> There's no way to make two eyes here. The only way for white to make two eyes is for white to kill something. So, what did white kill? Oh, first of all, when you play here, I think white, is this better? No, it's really, this doesn't work either, right? It's still not two eyes. Like, it's still, that doesn't work either. So, I mean, you, left, you leave weaknesses, but it's not like you're so strong, it doesn't even matter. So here, though, this move matters. Because let's say you go do something else, which you actually do for some reason. White cuts here, and now these three stones are dead. And so now you'd have to really struggle to try to make a dead shape in here, uh, which I don't think could be can be done, right? Because you just play this and that's alive. So yeah. So as soon as white gets this, now you have to realize, okay, white can cut these off. Like this is the weakness of your own that you have to be looking at, and both of you completely ignore it, and white screws it up too. Because this move is terrible. White just plays there, white wins. Like, hands down, game over. Now, after here, you have to know that this is not an eye. All you do is throw in there, There's a, it's a false eye. You play that move at any point over the next six moves, you win. And the same goes for this one. You play this move any point over the next six moves, you win. White needs, white needs this point, this point, and this point. White needs to get three moves in here in order to live. So let's see, that was one opportunity. White plays one. This doesn't, nothing's in trouble. You don't need to capture. This is two. Okay, you have one more shot. And this is Dame, nothing. And then white lives three, so there's two eyes. Oh my gosh, at least he got the tail. Uh, here, I'm just gonna fast forward through the rest because I'm going to assume that nothing else crazy happens. Yep, that's it. Uh, let's take a look at what the final score is. Is Oh, is this black by a half point? Somehow. All right, so good win. I guess. I, uh, I don't review 20 cube games very often, so please excuse my stupendous surprise. Um, we learn anything? I think we learned something, right? Just looking for your own defects, right? This is a defect. If you're in a fight, just fix your defect, and then you can play crazy stuff. And then I think the other thing that happened that was really educational in the mid-game, when you're really strong, just push your opponent towards the strength. Like, there's no reason to, uh, to try to defend the strength, which you did several times. Okay, so anyway, hey, Jeff, thanks for sending this game. I hope you learned something. If not, leave me a nasty comment in the YouTube comments. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.